I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today we have a video of a person. He is, uh, I mean, he speak about himself in his video. He says, uh, uh, you know, he's a person who moved from religion to religion. He became a Buddhist. He became a mushroom guy, a drug guy, whatever, you know. He adopted many religion, and then he decided to go back to his faith as a Christian, but he never read the Bible, but he speak about the Bible highly. Which is very funny. I mean, how he never read, study, and then you know how beautiful the Bible is. So, I mean, there is a lot of a flight of thought in, the, in his conversation. I'm not trying to put him down, by the way. I hope you will watch my video. But I say that he is very shallow. And it's okay, you know. So, this person, he is supposed to be from the old Yugoslavia. And uh, I understand, you know, many people make videos and nobody watch their videos. I look at your channel, 10,000, 9,000, something you made a year ago or two years ago. And then when you make a video about Islam, you have a 300,943 view. This is a great example of those who make videos, reaction, reaction. A Catholic have reaction to the Quran. A Protestant have reaction to the Quran. You will see how many the Muslim they will swarm your channel, and they will uh, view and subscribe. So if this is the point, you will succeed. But otherwise, you made a mockery of yourself. And I hope you will take it as in a friendly way, because I'm trying just to speak to you as you claim to be Christian as a Christian. But for me, you are no Christian. Uh, He said many things, so let us start. The religion. So now I return to it, and now I really want to know what's up. I really want to understand my own religion. So I started digging deep, and I found out about the Trinity. I already made a video about... So you are a growing man. You are 30-something years old. You grow in a Christian house. And you just found out the Trinity? <laughs> he just heard of it. <laughs> I mean, are you making a mockery of yourself? All your life, you claim that you are growing in a Christian house, Orthodox house. You never heard about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and now you just found out about it? I mean, this video is good for the Muslims, for us, it's a joke. You just find out about the Trinity? You just found out about Trinity. You never heard of it before. What? Continue. 
for this. Guys, for two years I was battling with this thought and I was trying to understand the Trinity and I was trying to make myself believe the Trinity, but after all, all of those intentions have failed miserably because I couldn't convince myself of a three-headed God. Okay, well, first of all, you need to convince yourself about how God he is. Uh, do you want us to redesign God for you? How how you like God to be? You know, this is one of the funny childish talk some people they come to us with. Either you believe in God as He is saying He is, or you don't believe in Him. Now, if you like the God of Islam because He says He is just one, but one what? He have a hand. Why He have a hand? He have a foot. Why He have a foot? Is he one piece or many pieces? So it's very silly. Like, do you now understand who is Allah just because he said he is one? The Trinity is very easy. Everything around you is based on the Trinity. Even water, H2O. Even our life is based on a three. If we don't have them, we die. Even the golden ratio, the, 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 the beauty ratio, which the scientists discover, is based on three. So why it's very hard to understand? God, he put his fingerprint in everywhere. And when we say God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, why it's so hard? God as a spirit is the God, the invisible God who is between us. God is the Son, is God Jesus, who came to us as a man in this earth. God the Father is the one who is high in heaven. Why it is so hard? I struggle with it, and I could not, and why, you know, okay, so now you understand who is Allah? The Muslims do not even know what Allah means. Not a single Muslim knows what Allah means. Because simply, this is a foreign name for a foreign god. Al is a word meaning god. La is the moon god. So you struggle with the Trinity. You could not understand it. By the way, we can design God for you. What do you want the battery to be? Do you want him six uh, inches uh, screen or seven inches screen? And you know, when somebody speak about Trinity or one God, we believe in one God anyway. But let us say we believe in a million God. But if there is a million God, well, they are right then. It's not about how many, it's about how truthful it is. So this idea is very stupid, very silly. Somebody who thinks that he has an upper hand because he believes in one God. Well, we are the one who believe in one God. It's us. It's not them. And we can prove that to you from the Quran. So it's very silly. If somebody come to me and says, now I believe in a one billion God, there's a one billion. Well, if there exists, he's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> are you the one who decide the numbers and how God is look like, who, how is he? This is the most stupid argument ever you can imagine. If we go in the Quran right now, we will see that the one God you speak of he claimed that he is, he have partners. The Muslim, they will deny that, but we will show you in the screen. <laughs> he have other, he have the same people of his kind. Same exact people of his kind. Chapter 21, verse number 17. If we had wished to fight the past time, past time here is a wife or a son. We, we could have found it and look at the first translation says in our presence. You change the translation in Arabic, it says, We will take it from ourselves, from, from, from our kind. Change the translator, you will see immediately. This is big tab. Actually, I will use a translation I think he is using in his video. So he, he, he like it more. I think he is using a tiny God, maybe. Have we wanted amusement? And look how, the, how, look how the, the faith of Islam described the women as an amusement. You know, she is like a, a just fun. Lahu, the word in Arabic, lahu. Lahu means fun. 
So have we decided to take a fun, which means a woman, we could have found it within us. Well, Allah is one. Allah will take a wife from us. How is that going to work? Allah is going. Allah is Allah is like a, a, a transgender. He have a male and female part in the same time. We change the translator just to make you happy. Had we intended to take a pastime, i.e., a wife or a son, etc., we could surely have taken it from us. So, can you explain that to me, Mister? Make sense? You see, the Trinity is hard for you to understand. Now we have a God who say he is one, and then he want to take a partner as a wife or a son, and he will take it from us. The channel of Christianity and Islam debate is live again, 350. Are they broadcasting the same my broadcast right now? Are they broadcasting my topic right now? If they are broadcasting my topic, I will flag them. If somebody broadcasts during my broadcast, my broadcast, I'm going to flag you. I will take your channel down. You can play my video after I finish in your channel, no problem. But you go live in the same time with me, I will take you down because you are trying to make our channel die. And this is where the work is done. All right. Yeah, but you should not play live when I am going live because many people, they do not know that we are here. Evil people, you know, some people, they just want to have, uh, you know, a view. Anyway, it's okay. Had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, etc., we could surely have taken it from us. I want your majesty because you are a genius who became a Hindu and Buddhas and you took hashish and shish kebab and mushroom to solve this problem. Maybe if you, if you take some mushroom, you can fix it. I think this is a mushroom needed solution. As long as you are expert to the mushroom, take some mushroom and think about it. Allah is one. But Allah is us. And Allah will take a partner, and the Muslim will say to you, Allah, he used the word we because he is majestic. But this is mean Allah is not satisfied with himself. And here it's not about we, it's about taking a partner from us. Partner. How you can take a partner with Allah from us, which means from his kind? There is only one kind of Allah or he is not one of his kind. So when a silly man with a long beard, you know, trying to get attention, you get the attention, my friend, but you get attention of, you know, you look funny. So when uh, anyone, any, any, uh, anyone who tried to be a thinker says, I could not buy it, the Trinity, how I can understand it? That's very because you are very silly. Because first of all, nobody can comprehend God. Can you comprehend what God is? With your little brain? What is God? If I ask you now, what is God? What you will say? You will start telling me what he do. Oh, he is the creator. But you don't tell me who's he. Oh, he is the one who made the earth and the heaven. But you did not tell me who's he. You see how silly you are? My friend, anyone sell a membership in my name, he is doing a scam. And don't speak about people in their back. If they are doing so, go report them. What membership? It's YouTube. How somebody can sell membership in YouTube? Don't change my topic. I will block you. So here you notice, this is what people are worried about, the money now. We are fighting the devil and those potatoes there, they are, they are worried about the money. Somebody making money from my videos. We don't tell God how he will be. And you yourself is the last one who can tell us what his God is. 
All what you understand about God is his power. That's all. Otherwise, you tell God how he should be, how he should look like. Hey, do you want God with muscles or without muscles, as long as you are a bodybuilder? Do you want him with six backs or seven backs? So, human being is very shallow, very stupid, and he speak is nonsense, trying to speak of nonsense, which means he is claiming that the Trinity is nonsense when he is the one who is making no sense. It makes sense to have a Trinity because always mankind, they say, where is God? If his God is exist, let him show himself. That makes sense. Well, God came to us. And God, Jesus, he did what nobody can do. Even the silly Quran says that Jesus, he resurrected people from death. Do that make sense to you? It doesn't make sense to me. Why? Because if Jesus is just a prophet, well, why he make a resurrection? Why Muhammad don't do the same as Jesus? Why only Jesus? Abraham in the Quran, in the chapter of the cow, he asked Allah, show me how to you resurrect people from death. Show me. Even Abraham is asking this God, show me if you can do so. Allah told him to slice some chicken, which is a very funny miracle. I mean chicken. And then he put them in different parts, different places, different hills. And Allah, he put them together. <laughs> in the case of Jesus, we ask Jesus to show us how he resurrect and he do it. We don't ask God, Allah, we ask Jesus. Do you see the difference? So Jesus, which is the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God the Son, he come to the earth and he show us what God can do. Jesus is the word, living, talking word of God. And this word is the power of God. And that's why he do miracle. When he said to the man, carry your bed and walk, he did not give him medicine. Muhammad, he died by poison, screaming. He could not save himself and his God could not save him. Do that make sense to you? The Muslim, they say that Allah, he saved Jesus from the cross. But Allah did not save Muhammad from rat, poison, somebody bought from Walmart, from a grocery store. Take some mushroom and try to apply the idea to your head. There's a guy who is the most beloved person to God. His name is Muhammad. And then this God of Muhammad, he don't want to help Muhammad. So Muhammad is dying from poison for three, four years. And then this God, who don't care much for Jesus because he is not beloved like Muhammad, he's decided to save Jesus. And right now, Jesus is in heaven. Do that make sense to you? For sure it makes sense to you. You got 300,000 subscribers now. <laughs> That's what does matter, right? Now, we continue. And then this guy, he decided to read the Quran. Just trying to make it short. He opened the Quran and he found the Quran. <clears throat> Makes sense. I'm going to start reading. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the merciful. That was surprising to me. Why? It really was. Hmm. I know to most Muslims this is simply common sense. They're wondering what I'm talking about. But for me as a Christian, I didn't remember a page in the Bible that addresses God like that first. Just to show you how silly and stupid you are, you forgot maybe, or maybe you do not know, or maybe you are ignorant, or maybe the hashish is still working, that when Muhammad, he says that, he claimed that Allah is the one who's talking. So why Allah, he will open his statement by saying in the name of Allah, if he is the one who's talking? How that makes sense to you? Your name is Bobby. Imagine you start your video by making sense, by saying in the name of Bobby. How that makes sense to you? 
I mean, what's wrong with people? I start my video today, I will say in the name of a Christian prince, that makes sense to you? According to Muhammad, the one is talking here is Allah. So why Allah will say in the name of Allah, praise be to Allah. Have you ever heard of a God, he is praying to himself? You see, in, the, in Christianity, Jesus, he speaks to the Father. Okay, well, there is a son, there is a father. We got that. Here Allah is saying in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. And all the praise and thanks to Allah. Allah is saying that to Allah. But maybe because you are a fool, you do not know. You thought maybe Muhammad here is addressing his God. If, if it took you 35 years to find out about the Trinity, I think it's going to take you 35 years to find out that the one is talking there supposedly is Allah, not Muhammad. So Allah, he says this, in the name of Allah. So who are you, Allah? Well, I am Allah. Okay, why are you are saying the name of Allah if you are Allah? Oh, because I have a like mental illness. I took some mushroom. I see myself two and three. The most beneficent, the most merciful. And then he says, all praise be to Allah. The Lord of all Al-Alamin. Do you know what Al-Alamin mean? The Muslims, they believe in all kinds of fictions. There's a genie. Do you know, did you watch the genie in the bar? So the God of Islam is the God of the human and the genie. What about the angels are missing? <laughs> you see, he missed the point. Because here he says Al-Alamin, which means the two words, the word of the human and the word of the genie. What about the word of the angels? Are they out of your control? <laughs> and then we continue. Look, he repeat again himself again, the most beneficent, the most merciful. But you just said that there. Why you are saying that again? Are you stupid? And then he says, the only owner of the day of judgment. Allah is saying you. Talking about himself as a third or second person. And then, Allah, he say, you alone we worship. Allah, he worship who? Obviously, this is a prayer made by Muhammad. And Muhammad, as a fool, he forgot to add a word. He should say, qul, which means say. Like the same as when the disciples, they asked Jesus how to pray. He said to them, you pray like this, our Father out of heaven. So the foolish Muhammad, he wanted to make a prayer the same as the prayer of the Christian. And this is why you will see, and you yourself, you mentioned, that you will find this verse in the, in the beginning of every chapter in the Quran. But guess what? The first time Muhammad, he mentioned the word Ar-Rahman was long, almost he is dead. He never mentioned that before. It was something new. So if we go to the Quran, watch this. I will type the word Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahman, let us say, uh, I type as, uh, sorry. Uh, the first time Muhammad, he received this name, was long after he became a prophet, which means all the chapters you will find, it says, Ar-Rahman is a fabrication. Why? Or added later. Because in chapter 17, which, which is a chapter came more than 50, uh, uh, more than the half of the life of Muhammad, is the first time Muhammad, he called him Ar-Rahman, which is, the word you see in the first chapter. Read carefully. Say, call upon Allah or call upon Ar Rahman by whatever name you call him. For him belong all the most beautiful names. And what is behind the story? You go and read the interpretation, the scholars, the Muslim, the sheikhs, the hadith. It says that the first time Muhammad, he mentioned this name, it was now. Muhammad never mentioned the word Rahman before. So how the word Rahman appear in every in the top and in the beginning of every chapter? When Muhammad he mentioned the word Rahman, the Arab they said to him, "Now Muhammad he worshipped two gods, Allah and Ar-Rahman." 
Muhammad, he received a verse from Allah. He said to them, will I call him Allah or call him Rahman? Doesn't matter. All beautiful names belong to Allah. Well, Allah, his name is Jessica. And maybe Monica. Because all the beautiful names belong to Allah. You know what? Let's call him Bobby. I like Bobby. What's wrong with Bobby? <laughs> so when you see that in the beginning of any verse in the Quran, as you said, that is the proof that the Quran is a fraud because this is the first time. And if you don't believe me, by the way, I can show you. Here we go. This is a chapter 17, verse number 110. And we will go to the official Islamic government website of the fraud king of Jordan. But this is not him talking there. Those are the scholars. Let us go. Chapter 17. Are you ready, Abdul? Hmm. Read and laugh. What is behind the story, you know? There's a book, it's called Asbab al-Nuzul, which means the reason for verses to come. Very well-known Islamic book. It says here, hmm, when Muhammad, he starts saying, he says, keep saying in his prostration, O beneficent, O merciful, the idolater says, Muhammad used to call unto Allah, one Allah, and now he is calling to two gods, Allah and Rahman. We do not know anyone names as the Rahman except the Rahman of Al Yamama. And this is a guy who claimed that he is a messenger of a God. His name is Rahman and he called himself Rahman. So this guy, he sent Muhammad a letter. Muhammad saw the letter, it says, in the name of Al Rahman. Muhammad, he liked the name, he started using it for his God. And guess what? This is the chapter 17, but doesn't mean this is chapter 17. There's something called according to Revelation. So if we go and see the Quran according to Revelation, where we will find the Quran chapter 17? Surprise, surprise. This is a very well-known Muslim website. It's called Tanzil. Hmm? And now we will search for a chapter number 17. In the, in the left here is the true number of the Quran, which means the Muslim, they change the order. So the first chapter Muhammad supposed he received is a chapter of Al-Alaq. And right now it is chapter 96. And the find the Muslim, they say our Quran never changed. So if we go down to 17 today, we will find 17 is not the same we see now, 17. 17 today is Al-Isra. Al Isra. But 17 here is not Al Isra. So, where we can find 17? Oh, we will find it, don't worry. Go down. Let us go down until we find Al Isra. And then you will die laughing at what we will find. Let us find it easier. Give me a second. Here we go. This is Al-Isra. Chapter number 50. Do you see it? So, the first time Muhammad, he mentioned the word Rahman, it was after 50 chapter of him claiming to be receiving chapters from God, his name is Allah. He never mentioned that name before. In this Bobby video, he said, will it make sense to introduce Allah? Well, here we go. This is half of his life is gone as a prophet. He claimed to be a prophet, and yet he did not introduce a Rahman. And the Arab, they were surprised, who is this guy, a Rahman? The only one we know is his God is a Rahman, and his name is a Rahman, is Rahman al-Yamama, a person who claimed to be a prophet, and Muhammad later, he killed him. So, first time the word appeared, it was more than 10 years after Muhammad claiming to be a prophet. Half of his life as a prophet, claiming to be a prophet. 
So when this uh, uh, person, he says, this is makes sense, you know, my friend, none of your sense makes sense because this is, should not be here anyway. For the first time, the word Rahman appear as we showed you, and this is from Islamic website. This is not us saying that. And then how we, how, how we find that the word, this verse here in, in the front of every chapter, that's, that's, a, that's a fraud then. You see, the first chapter Muhammad he received is Al-Alaq, and this is according to the Muslim website, which is number 96. Let us go to chapter 96. Are we going to find Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim there? No. It's not part of the number, but they add it. Just to show you your foolishness, when the Muslim they put it there, it's not part. You are just an ignorant. It's not part of the chapter, you idiot. Do you see the chapter start with number one? This is addition, which means it's a corruption, which means it's proving what I just said, that the word of Rahman never ever mentioned. As you see, you go to those chapters, Al-Halaq, Al-Qalam, etc. You read them all. None of them has in the name of Allah the most beneficent, the most merciful as a number. Why? Because this is an addition they added. And then if we go back and we read how in the world that makes sense to you, that will be really loving or lovable. Because you will notice here that right away this God, he start cursing the Christian and the Jews. You alone we worship, Allah is talking, saying you alone we worship. Obviously, this is a prayer made by Muhammad. And then he says, guide us to the straight way. Okay, how Allah can guide you the straight way? When Allah is the one who misguide you. This guy in his video, he said he saw the chapter of An-Nahl. The chapter of An-Nahl says that Allah is the one who sealed their eyes. How they can see, they see their heart. How they can feel. And this is exist all over the Quran. This is the chapter of the cow, the Hindu chapter. Allah has set the seal on their heart and their hearing. Okay. Muhammad trying to explain why they cannot believe, why they will not believe in him. He could not make miracles, well, they were not believe him, he's a fraud. So he claimed that Allah is the one who set the seal in their heart and their hearing. How that makes sense to you? So Allah now, he make sealing over my, he, he sealed my, my heart, he sealed my eyes, he sealed my ears, and then he is going to punish me for not listening and hearing and seeing. When he is the one who blinded me, and he is the one who made me not to hear and not to feel. I'm sure that makes sense to you. <laughs> you know, in his video, he said he went to Thailand, he went to Indonesia, he became a Buddhist, whatever. But the Chinese, they have a statement, they say, he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. I don't think I'm insulting you. I'm just making a statement about what you said. I hope you will be a horse soon. Because what you said is a statement of a fool. And then he continued. So the, the Al-Fatiha makes sense, which is absolutely false. It doesn't make sense. It's the opposite. It is a very laughable, uh, 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 you know, chapter. And as you see, the first thing Muhammad he do right away, he start cursing people. Don't make us please Allah, the same as the lost Christians or the, uh, the, the cursed Jews. Do you know what it says here? Please show us the straight way, the way of those who you choose and best with their uh, grace, uh, th those who they are portion, not worth, and who you go as not go astray. What, 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 what? Look at the first translation, change it. Different translation. Don't make us Allah the same as the Christian and the Jews. I mean, what do the Christian and the Jews? No, the Muslim, they die to go to, to Germany and they die to 
and you yourself you said you you live between the turkish and you saw how the drug dealers they are prostitution etc so they don't make us like them and we go and live between them and we are not going to be like them we will be the worst we will be the drug dealers we will be the one do prostitution we will do whatever don't make us like them this was the muslim turkish the one you associate with them you told me you said in the video you associate with them this is what they're saying they pray this five times a day Can't you pray without cursing the Christian and the Jews? I kept on reading and I noticed that every surah, every chapter starts like that. See? In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the merciful. <laughs> right. And I was impressed. Yeah. I thought, yeah, that makes sense. Well, it you makes sense. Again, I listen, listen, how stupid you are. Why Allah is talking and he's saying in the name of Allah? <laughs> imagine you go back to your house and your wife is waiting for you and you say to her in the name of bobby and your wife she will say to you bobby what's wrong with you you are bobby isn't you are you a clone or a clown continue we go to the second uh, uh, statement here i don't want to waste your time with too many garbage no. It doesn't posture up or pose as something else. It simply says what it is. No, Islam is opposing everything else. Islam is based on attacking the Christianity and the Jews and anyone who don't believe in Islam. And you are a fool. This is why we showed you from the first chapter in the Quran, Allah is saying, the Muslims, you know, they pray this prayer, but Allah is the one who's talking. Don't make us like the same as the Christian and the Jews. And you will see the Quran says, kill the Christian, kill the Jews. Makes sense to you, right? Makes sense to you that the Muslim now, they can attack you in Serbia or Macedonia and kill your mother and your father unless they pay jizya. Makes sense to you. I mean, you like it. Or maybe your sister will be taken as a slave for sex. It makes sense to you. Makes sense. Islam makes sense. Allah, one God. And this one God, he ordered the Muslim to take his wife or his sister. It makes sense. What is important, my friend, is there's one God. Who care about taking the wife or the sister or his daughter as a sex slave? It's okay. The important is that there is one God. That makes sense. And this God, he says, in the name of the Allah. <laughs> it comes as a guidance. It comes as a clarification. Just to show you how stupid what you did. If you go to the verse here, the one you just mentioned, Obviously, you did not read the Quran. You are just making a video to make the Muslims swarm over you. It came as a guidance. Chapter 93, verse number 7. He found you lost. You see, like even the video in the 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 translation in his video is different from the translation we have in the screen. Why? Because Muslims, they lie in the translation. Every translator, he give you his own fraud. Every one of them. It comes as a guidance. See? He found you lost. He found you lost. Okay, well, hold on. Muhammad now is 40 years old and he been found lost. He was worshipping what? He was worshipping Allah. The pagan God. We have an intro, and this is a sheikh. In the beginning of our intro, he says, Muhammad was not Abrahamic. The same as you, you never heard of the Trinity before, which means you never been Christian. He, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. mentioned. See? He is not coming from Abrahamic faith. He did not know even what Gabriel is, or Gabriel, or Gabriel. Why? Because he's a pagan. What the pagan mean? He worship Allah. Allah is a pagan god. So Allah, he found Muhammad lost. And he guided him. And then we go to different verse in the Quran. It is you who said makes sense, right? Where it says that Allah is the one who sealed their heart. 
not only that, Allah is the one who deceives people. Allah, he said to Muhammad, are you going to guide the one who Allah deceived? Hmm? Are you? As an example, not necessarily this verse, as an example, like you can read the chapter 4, verse number 88, or you can read chapter 4, verse 143, etc. Who is the one who misguide mankind? Muslim, they will say to you, Shaitan. Are you sure? Yes, brother, I'm sure. Read it. And the funny, <laughs> this God, he called those, those are misguided hypocrites. Why? Because he misguided them. <laughs> Do you want to guide him whom Allah has made go astray? And by the way, this is a false translation. In Arabic, it says, Aturiduna and tahdu man Allah. Are you going to guide the one who Allah deceived? You cannot, because Allah is the biggest shaitan. Read it carefully. This God is angry from them, and he is the one who deceived them. And not only that, he is angry from who? He is angry from the Muslims, saying to them, Are you going to guide the one who I mislead, you idiot? Do you think he can do that? I am the one who mislead them. I am the one who deceived them. Do you want to guide the one who Allah made go astray? The Muslim translation. And he whom Allah made go astray, you will never find for him any way for, of guidance. Make sense. <laughs> Make a lot of sense. <laughs> I don't know if your video is worth even to continue with it. But, uh, you know, it is really hilarious. It comes as a clarification for those that want to see. Yeah, look at this. Clarification for those who want to see, and he is quoting for us the chapter of the bees. If you go to that chapter, you will die laughing. Let us go there. <laughs> According to the chapter of the bees, the ants, sorry, the bees, they shit honey, and the human, they eat it. So according to the bees, according to the bees God, the, the, the bees, they go and they eat fruits. And then there is honey come from their belly, which is absolutely false. The bees, they go and they collect the nectar. They don't eat the fruits. Yes, is the fruit is their food. We can say yes, because the food is coming from there, but they are not eating really the fruits. And there is very few kind of bees, which is not the one that exists even like, uh, uh, no, like maybe uh, very rare to find in the world. They eat from a fruit, but this is the, the, this is the honey bees we are talking about. Though the other ones, they don't even make honey. Those are the honey bees who eat fruit. Nectars, not the fruit itself, or the flower nectars. And this is their food, but they don't eat it directly. They take it to the hive, and there's other bees is in charge of converting such an actor into honey. So look what the Quran says here. Just to so we can laugh together. Allah, he inspired the bees, and he said to them, go and live in the mountains and the tree. This was inspiration. Yeah, they are prophet too. Then eat of all the fruits and follow the ways of your Lord. Made easy for you. Life is so easy for the bees. You know, they don't work hard for their food. No, just go wake up in the morning, drink coffee. It's easy. Just go in the way around, you know. Just touch the, the flower, and that's it. It's very easy. And there come forth from their bellies a drink in different color. <laughs> in chapter 67, sorry, the same chapter, Allah, he claimed that 
alcohol and whiskey and black label is miracle from him. How many times we heard the Muslims saying that alcohol is bad, this is why Islam forbid it. Look what the Quran is saying. And from the fruits of the date palms and the grape, uh, the reeve strong drink, you know, and here between two brackets, look at, look at this. This is was before the order of forbation of alcohol drink, brother. Like, what the heck? So Allah, he was praising alcohol. And then Allah, he went against alcohol. This remind me of Bobby. Bobby, he decided to go to Indonesia. He decided to become a Buddhist. He went to India, he became a Hindu. He come back to his country, he become a Christian. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so are you against alcohol or with alcohol? You can't praise it and claim it's a miracle from Allah. Look, it says, and this is a goodly provision. It's a goodly provision. And this is a sign from Allah for those who have wisdom. So if you have wisdom, you drink whiskey, my friend. So you can see a true sign of Allah. You can experience this, this miracle. So are we with alcohol or we are against alcohol? The holy chapter is a joke. And look, here it says, Allah, the shaitan, he made their, uh, uh, he beautified their work for them. Who is the one who made, like, uh, the, the, the bad work you do? Allah, he make it look pretty for you. Guess what? Other verse in the Quran says that Allah is the one who do that. Who is the one who, we just showed you that Allah is the one who deceived, right? And the, Allah is the one who sent astray and as though Allah is the one who sealed the heart and Allah is the one who closed the eyes. Other verse confirmed that Allah is a shaitan too. Look at this one. I have many verses, but I will use this one. If Allah want to destroy a village or a town, what he will do? He will make the rich of it filthy bad. Let's read this one. Give me a second here. And now try not to laugh. Chapter 17, verse number 16. And when we decide to do, to destroy a town, between two bracket population, we first send a defend order to obey Allah. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. Do you see this? This is not in the Quran. This is not in the Quran. This is false translation. All of the sentence here, here, here. It's not in the Quran. This is not in the Quran. Just to show you how they lie, change the translator. This is why the one who tried to learn about Islam from the Muslim translation, he will be fooled easy. Because Muslim translation is a fraud. I just changed the translator. I did not change the book. I did not change the book. And when we would destroy a town, we send a commandment to the fo its folk who live at its ease, at ease. And afterward, they commit abom abomination therein. So the word of doom between two brackets has effect for it. What the heck is that? This is a totally different verse from the previous translation. Let us change the translator now again, because still it's not right. Go to a different one. Uh, let us see uh, a hmm. 
whenever we send, intend to destroy a society, we command its elite or Iliad. Do you see the difference in the guys? Do you see the different translation, how the word change? And this is the most accurate until now. It's Allah who command the high quality of the people to commit sin, not to obey Allah. They are adding words. It says here until now, we command, but not to obey Allah. Nowhere in the verse here it says, we order them to command, we command them to obey Allah. وَإِذْ أَرَدْنَا وَإِذْ أَرَدْنَا أَنْ نُهْلِكَ قَرْيَةً أَمَرْنَا مُطْرَ فِيهَا فَفَسَقُوا فِيهَا We command the wealthy one so they do bad deed. Nowhere it says we command them to obey God. This does not exist. Change the translator. Actually, you know what? You do not need this. You can just, you can, you can take this, make it two parts. And I will take it to Google Translation, just to show you. My Google, he might match it, by the way, and make it with the Quran translation. It exists in Google anyway. But we can use different... Actually, there is a website. Hold on. Let me do this. There is a website which you can translate the Quran word by word by the website itself. I think it's called, I think, Quran.com. Quran. And even if you click at the word, it's played a sound for you. Let us see this one. <clears throat> okay. All right. This is this is the Quran. Quran.com. It supposedly it should play. I don't see anything working. Uh, maybe I should go there. Now we go to the page. Let's just go there. All right. Uh, we're going to use the translation. Where is the translation? Setting. Uh, translate. Translation. I don't know why it's coming back here that way. Maybe this is not the same one. Uh... Actually, it's work. Here we go. Let us zoom in. Here, here we go. It says. Remember, in Arabic, we start reading from right to left, right? So, وَإِذَا You will see here it says, and when we intend it, let me, let me use my uh, uh, screen line. And when we intended that we destroy a town, we order the worthy people, it's worthy people, and here this is a fast translation, but they actually, فَفَسَقُوا mean they, they became, they did uh, bad, but we order them, order them what? Order them to do bad. The Muslim, they try to fix it. They say, no, Allah, he ordered them to be good. But read carefully. It says, if we went to destroy a town. If we went what? What in the intention? To destroy a town. This is the intention. What we do? We order. Order who? The wealthy ones. To do what? Fafasaku to do fusq, which means to do bad, to disobey. This is the command of Allah. They're in, and then they deserve to be destroyed. 
So Allah is the one who destroy towns. Allah is the one who destroy community. And just to show you here, to make it more clear, because a Muslim, he might say to you, oh, this is a Christian prince trying to make it look like that. Let us go to the hadith. Messenger of Allah said, by the one who his hand is my soul, he's swearing by his God, it's very serious. Were you, were you not to commit sin, Allah would replace you with people who would commit sin and seek forgiveness from Allah. Make sense to you, Bobby? The one who don't make sense, Allah will destroy him. Allah will kill him, brother. Why? Because he did not commit sin. If you don't commit sin, you don't pray to Allah, ask him for forgiveness, and then Allah feel lonely, and then Allah kill you. Because this is not the purpose of his creation for you. He created you so you can commit sin, and every morning you beg for him, please forgive me, please God, and he love it. <laughs> yes, yes, big more, big more. Yeah, okay, big more. Uh -huh. If you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. So Allah, if he decide to destroy a town, what he do? He make them commit sin, and he don't make them forgive, ask for forgiveness. You see, they commit sin. They are not asking for forgiveness. And who is the one who caused that? Allah. That's why it says, إِذَا aradna. If we wanted to destroy a town. If we wanted to destroy a town. What we would do? We command the rich one. The intention is to destroy. We command the rich one, the wealthy one, to do fusuq, to do bad. In it, they're in. And then they deserve the judgment. If we ask any Muslim, did Adam commit sin? He will say yes. According to Islam, no. According to Islam, according to Muhammad, Adam, he did not really commit sin. It was Allah, he forced him to commit sin. According to Muhammad, and I'm sure Bobby will agree with me that because it makes sense that Adam, he met with Moses, because they used to live in the same street, brother. I mean, same town, the Macedonia, they are in Macedonia. Yeah. So... According to Muhammad, that Adam and Moses, they met together and drinking some shish, you know, uh, hookah, you know, hookah, smoking uh, mushroom, you know, together. And uh, Moses, he accused Adam, he says to him, uh, because of you, our grandfather, we are out of heaven. Uh, Adam, he says to Musa, Moshe, Habibi Moshe, are you stupid or what? Are you accusing me? of something written in my fate 40 years before my creation? <laughs> so it turned to be that all our sin, the Muslim, they believe in fate and destiny. So your sin is not your sin. It is the filthy Allah who decide to make you a sinner and then you go and you commit sin. And then Allah will punish you. He will kick you out of heaven. That's how what happened to Adam. And then Adam will ask Allah, please forgive me. That's what the Quran says. Allah, he listened to the word of Adam asking for forgiveness. And then Allah, after he received the word of Adam, actually all the story of Adam, if we go to the story of Adam, you will die laughing in the Quran. According to the Quran, angels are a bunch of liars. Allah, he told the angels, I'm going to create someone, a human being, 
they said to him, are you going to create someone? He blah, 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 blah. He would do blah, 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 blah. And how the angels knows, this is very funny. And uh, and the fact is, he, they were right and Allah was wrong. And then Allah, he fashioned Adam and then he made him and then he ordered him to bow down to him. That makes sense to you, Bobby? That Allah, he ordered the first human being to be worshipped by the angels because bowing down, if you ask any Muslim, he would say bowing down is an act of worship. Here the angels bowing down to Adam for what? They say to you, respect, brother. Respect what? The guy is a sinner. He's a human. <laughs> He's not perfectly made. He was kicked out of heaven. But because supposedly the angels, they made a lie saying he would do mischief, and the fact he did. That's why he's out of heaven. And then the story goes, continues, says that Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down, and then except Iblis, which is Mishatan, he did not. But Iblis in Islam is a genie. And here the Quran making stupid mistake. Because if I order the cat to say meow, why I'm going to be upset from the dog for not saying meow? He's not, he is not a cat. So according to Quran, according to Islam, the angels are not, the, the, the shaitan is not an angel like Rishati. Satan is a foreign angel. In Islam, Satan is a genie from the ball. So Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down. Except Iblis. But Iblis is not from the from not from the angels. The verse says it clearly. He ordered them to bow down. And then you will find later that Shaitan, he is saying the truth that Allah deceived him. Read carefully. Satan, he responds saying, my Lord, for allowing me to astray, not allowing you actually, it says, Agwaitani, Agwaitani, you, you know, you deceive me, you, you know, you made me criminal, you made me think bad, you made me uh, uh, do evil, you made me do that. You, Agwaitani is like, you know, when a, a woman, let us say, a woman, she tempt a, a good guy. Uh, let's say a person who's trying to be decent, he's trying so, and then there is a woman, I'm not putting the woman down, I'm just giving an example to understand the language. So a woman, she tempts a good guy to do bad stuff. That is a waitani. And then he fail to her temptation. That what a waitani is. If you change the translation, this is Khattab. As you see, we are using Muslim translation. I'm not, using, I'm not doing my own translation. You will see how stupid this religion is. So shaitan himself is a victim of the deception of Allah. This is why my book is called the deception of Allah. Read it. He said, my Lord, thou hast met, made me li uh, life evil to me. Allah made him evil. <laughs> Change the translator. <laughs> Sarwar. All of them, they are Muhammad. Iblis said, Lord, because you have caused me to go astray, Allah. Ooh, who is the one who caused Iblis to go astray? Allah. So, according to Islam, Iblis or Satan is a good person. He's a victim of Allah. And to make it more dummy and more stupid, here it says, Allah said to Shaitan, no problem. I made you be evil, do evil. Okay, it's my fault. Now go, but listen, listen to me. You have no authority over my servants except the one who follow you. Do you see it? It's not me who said that. You have no authority over my good servant. If you don't like the translation, translation, change it, change it, brother. This is Sarwar. Let us go to Muhammad Assad, brother. You see, we are giving you a cocktail of translation. Verily shall have no power over my creatures unless it be such as already lost in error or criminals. If you don't like the translation, we change it too. This is Muhammad Asad. Let us go to Yusuf Ali, brother. Yusuf Ali. Masallah, masallah. For over my servant, no authority shall thou have except such put themselves in the wrong following thee. And then we find that Muhammad, he receives satanic verses. But the Quran just said that you have no authority over my good servants. <laughs> I 
how shaitan have no authority over the good servant and then muhammad he receives satanic verses that means he is not a good servant <laughs> oh. read with me and love this is chapter 22 verse number 52 Never did we send a messenger or a prophet before thee, but when we he, he framed a desire, Satan threw some vanity into his desire. But you just say it over my good servant, you cannot do it, you don't have authority. It turned to be that all the prophets of Allah are fraud. Do you see it? So I say to our friend here, Mr. Bobby, my friend, repent to God, my friend. Don't let the devil fool you. Just to, to get some subscribers, you, you know, you fool people and you lie to them. I don't think you yourself, you accept even what you are saying. This is a book of guidance. A book of guidance, he lie about how the baby is created. Have you ever heard of a God do not know where the baby is coming from? Huh? When you read the Quran, seek refuge with God from Satan, the outcast. He has no authority over those who believe and trust in their God, their Lord. But Muhammad was under black magic. Shaitan have authority only over, and this is the same chapter you quote for us, my friend, uh, Bube, Bube. Chapter of an nahl my friend. You see how this is a nice chapter. It's very, this is my favorite. Huh? It says shaitan, he has no authority over who believe. Okay. His authority only over those who follow him. Do you see it? Okay, let us go and see what happened to Muhammad. <laughs> Muhammad is under the control of shaitan. Read with me carefully. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari, the most authentic book for the Muslims, the same as the Quran. Actually, they worship al-Bukhari more than the Quran. Once the prophet was bewitched, so he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he is not doing. Like what? Like what? Like sex, brother. <laughs> but we just saw in the chapter of an nahl that shaitan have no authority over the one who is a good believer, but he have authority only over the one who follows shaitan already. Did I show it to you already or not? I did, didn't I? You have, you have. Shaitan, Mr. Shaitan, you have no authority. Your authority only over those who follow you. Shaitan, Quran says that, brother. Chapter 16, verse 100. Is it clear? Only those who follow shaitan, shaitan have authority over them. So then how Muhammad receives satanic verses and how Muhammad under black magic and how Muhammad even in the hadith he says, I receive command from shaitan. He received command from shaitan. Read, read and laugh. He command me to do good. Shaitan, he do command Muhammad to do good. And this is Sahih. Because you know, they will say to you, this is false and you know, Sahih, it's in the front of you, authentic. Muhammad, he speak about the shaitan. He says, every one of you have a shaitan, a companion with him. They said, and you, with you too? He said, yes, with me too. He said, but Allah helped me against him. And he accepted Islam, brother. 
Hey, Bobby, does it make sense to you that Shaitan became a Muslim? <laughs> and then he command me to do only what is good? I thought the one who command Muhammad is Allah. It turned to be Shaitan, but this is a Muslim Shaitan now. <laughs> So if the Muslim shaitan is the one who is commanding Muhammad, who is the one who put black magic on him? And who is the one who throws satanic verses on him, on his mouth? You see, we have a disease these days. Anyone want to get a lot of a view, he make a reaction video. If I type right now, I'm done with this, you know, this guy. I, I pray for the Lord that he will be, he will see the truth and he will repent and he will correct himself but you know it's up to up to him but if we go and we type in the in the in the youtube reaction to quran you will find tons of thousands of scammers making those videos so they can get subscribers and view Reaction. First time here in the Quran. American couple react conversation between Jesus and Allah. Look, their mouth is open. For sure, they will get a lot of view. I mean, if they make a video, their video, nobody watch it. Bible. I mean, what a what a what a joke. So. A Catholic reaction, let me type the word Catholic, just to show you how, how, how the joke works. Catholic, they love, the Muslim, they love to work uh, the word Catholic, you know, just say Catholic. Look at this Catholic lady, I can tell you are very Catholic. I mean, you, the, the, the Catholic is a dropping from your, your, your makeup. Do you see the reaction of a Catholic listening to the Quran? 5.8 million. Do, uh, do you see what those videos do? Because the Muslim will swarm you, and they will share the video everywhere, and your YouTube will. So anyone in a scammer, when I do, when I do, I mean, this woman is. What, what she have to do with the Catholic? I bet you she is not even a Hindu. And do really people open their mouth like that normally? Like, whoa! <laughs> uh, look at this other. Whoa! Catholic react to the most emotional Quran. Look, look, she is Catholic too. She's dying. Like, what the heck happened? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He is a Catholic too, and he cannot believe it, brother. And this is the same. And look, this is a. This is oh, man. Wow. <laughs> my friend do you want to see the best reaction of the Quran watch the videos of a Christian prince I will make you die laughing literally a Muslim he paused in the previous video I made the short videos he said Christian prince doesn't matter how much you mock the Quran the Quran is very powerful Islam is a growing brother a friend according to Muslim 16,000 Muslim live in Islam a day but let me show you that this is a book nobody can really make a book like it Brother, I challenge anyone to come with such a wisdom. Like this. The website stopped working. I will show you what kind of wisdom we are talking about. It's amazing, brother. What happened to this website? It's down. Nothing is opening. Let me refresh again. My friend, this is an amazing book. It says, Error in the Network. I mean, now you decide to stop working, Mr. Abdul website? What a shame. Let me try a different.
Is my internet working? It's working. So why their website is not working? It says error. Check. This website cannot be reached. Look, look, brother. The Muslim, they shut the website down because of me. <laughs> I wanted to send you thank you our flowers like you know for having such a website because it's helping us a lot to show the Muslims how stupid your religion is but we cannot pay you enough my friend Quran wow I mean the Quran is wow we have to admit it's a wow it's a lot of wow wow you know <laughs> Quran wow <laughs> the sperm coming from the backbone the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs the sunset in murky water the bees they eat a fruit and they shit honey uh, uh, Allah, he put the mountain the, on the top of the earth after he finished the earth. Uh, uh, the sun uh, 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 moved from point A to point B. Uh, uh, Allah throne is in the top of the water and underneath of him there's the sun taking a shower. Oh, the website is working again. Unbelievable. It's finally it's working. Let's, let's try again. Uh, <clears throat> Brother, I will show you a wisdom, a book of wisdom. I challenge you, Bobby, to find me a verse like this in the Bible. Chapter 24. Look, this is the chapter of light. Look, light. I see light now. Wow, light. Chapter of light and nur. Chapter 24, verse number 61. There's no fault on the blind nor the one is born lame, nor one affected with illness, nor in yourself that you should eat in your own houses. <laughs> this is God. God, he went to his office today. What is my topic today? What I will tell them? Hmm. I will tell them something very useful. Listen, if you are blind, you can eat at home, okay? Hmm. And if you are a person who is sick, like, you know, you have a problem with your leg, you cannot walk around, eat in your home, okay? You can eat, no, it's okay, it's not a sin. I forgive you, okay? And if you are not even ill, you can, so what, what the point of this? If everybody can eat at home, I mean, while you are counting the blind, and the one who is born lame, and the one who have illness, and the one who don't have illness, all of them, they can eat at home. Like, so, so what you are telling me, nothing. And since when we need God to tell us that we can eat at home? And then the wisdom continue. Or for or those of your father or your mother's... Man, I was really thinking that I just commit sin when I eat in my father's house. What the heck? Thank you, Allah. This is new. Or your brother... We can eat in our brother's house too. That's deep. Or your sister, wow, that the tears is getting bigger. Or your father, brother, or your father, sister, or in your mother, brothers, or your mother, sisters, or in the house of which one the key in your position. Don't give the Muslims your key if he is a real estate agent. He will eat your food. Do you see it? Do you see it? You give a Muslim, he's a real estate agent, your key, the first thing he would do, he would use your bed, he would eat your food, and maybe he would do boom boom too. If you have the key of the house, I can eat in the house? But this is not my house. What's the point of this? No, no, so can I eat in McDonald's? I mean, at that time, there's no restaurant. Mecca is a small town. People, everybody at home. What, what's the point of this? Wisdom. Right? A lot of whiz and dumb. This is what they say to you, that the Quran is amazing. I did read the whole Quran. And this is the same chapter, by the way, chapter 24. Sorry, uh, uh, I mean, the same chapter is full of jokes, you know, but uh, uh, when somebody, he speaks to us about uh, about amazing book, any, you open any chapter in the Quran, you will find how stupid it is. 
as an example, in the same chapter, I'm not, I'm not picking up, I just remember here it says, that Allah, he sent from the sky, from mountains in it, hail. Look at the translation here. Read carefully. And he sent down from the sky, mountains, mass of a cloud, wherein there is hail. This is false translation. Look at the liars. Change the translator. And remember, all of them, they are Muslims. This is Yusuf Ali. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us go to Hilali and Khan see. I mean, lying is a profession. It says here, and he sent down from the sky hail. Look, they put the word like between two brackets, like mountains. Or, they are in heaven mountains of hail, where he sent down the hail. This is the truth. It says in Arabic, وَيُنِزِلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِنْ جِبَالٍ فِيهَا مِنْ بَرَدٍ فَيُصِيبُ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ And he sent down from the sky, from mountains in it, hail to hit with it whoever he wish. The Muslim, they try to fix it, the stupidity of Allah. They say, uh, there is heaven, uh, you know, there is heaven, a mountain, like, a mountain of hail, uh, you know, a, a, like a cloud, like mountains. Okay, brother, no, it doesn't say that. He sent down from the sky hail. From mountains, not like mountains. What like mountains? He sent hail like mountains, are you stupid? Change the translator, just to show you the deception done in purpose, just to cover up the stupidity of the Quran. Itani. Mm. He bring down load of hail from the sky. The guy, he took the word mountain totally, this guy. This guy, he ate the mountain word. It is shish kebab, he made it hummus. This reminds me, when I used to live in the Middle East, I was a kid, we went with my cousin to the guy who make hummus. And then the, 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 the fly fell down in the hummus, you know, and we told him, uh, uh, uncle, uncle, there's a fly fell down in the hummus. The guy, he keeps smashing it. He says, where it is? It's gone. <laughs> he smashed it. <laughs> they eat it with a fly. Remember the prophet, he says, if a fly fell down, you soup, dip it, dip it, dip it, and then drink it. Remember? Huh? But we, we, we can mention that after we finish this one. Let's see Maududi. Maududi, Dudi. Translation, hold on. Here it says, he sent down hail out of high up mountains in heaven. Look how the translation changed. Guys, look, look how the translation changed. One, he add the cloud. The other one add like. The other one, he take the mountain off. The other one, just to fix the stupid Quran. This guy is being more honest. And he sent down hail out of high up mountains in heaven. This is what the person is saying. This is the truth. I cannot believe it that as a Muslim, he made the truth. Maududi, Maududi, you are being honest here. Something wrong. I think he was taking mushroom. This God, he did not know how hail is made. And if you continue reading, you will see how horrible more. Look at this. And Allah created every creator from sort of water. Of them, one who crawl in their belly. False translation. In Arabic, it says, Yamshi. They walk in their belly. Have you ever heard of an animal walking in his belly? Wrong Arabic word. Wrong Arabic word. Yamshi is somebody have feet. Have legs. This is the word in here. Yamshi mean he walk, not creep. Wrong Arabic word. They said to you the Quran is made from very, uh, very good Arabic. And then, and uh, okay, and there it's belly. Another walk in their two legs. Another four. Allah create whatever He will. What the heck? That's all. So now all the creatures have to be either the one who creep in their belly or they have two foot or they have four. What about the rest?
Hmm? That's it. This is the animals. Animals that the maximum legs they have. This is the creatures. You see here it says Dabba. Dabba, not just anything. Anything is living in this earth. Dabba. Dabba from Yadubu. Which means he, you know, he move in the top of the earth. He walk or he, you know, he, uh, he make a movement. All uh, creatures made it from water. Some of them, they walk on their belly. Stupid word. Because you don't walk in your belly, you creep. Some of them walk in two legs, and some they walk over four. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's, there's millions of the creatures, they, they have many legs. Six legs, eight legs. Uh, you know, I remember there was a, a guy who was dating uh, an insect. You know, she was late always because she had 44 legs, brother. She was, imagine a woman, she is wearing a shoe. She's a female at the end of the day. So she was, uh, you know, when uh, she had 44 legs. So what, th this is God talking. And God, he sent the, 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 the hailer from mountains in the sky. And not to forget, according to the Quran. Uh, uh, by the way, here, the, the Muslim here, they say this is a miracle. This is a scientific miracle. They say to you, brother, do you know that scientific study, they found that there's many layers on the, in the ocean? Really? And the deep ocean is so dark. That's deep. How the Quran knew this? But if you read the verse right away, you will see that the, 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 the ocean is dark because there's a cloud, dark cloud in the top of it. Like uh, the likeness of deep, dark ocean. What kind of ocean? Crazy ocean, like the wavy ocean. The waves are coming one after one, and there is a darkness of a cloud above it. If we are talking about the deep ocean, down like a, a thousand meters down, the cloud there would not make any difference, Abdul. I mean, do you see how silly they are? They're trying to find the, you know, they find a miracle. It's speaking about waves in the ocean, in the top, and uh, 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 speaking about uh, and I, well, when here they say to you, uh, the Muslim, they say, deep ocean, where is the word deep? Where is the word down in the ocean? It says to you that there is a cloud, dark cloud, and the ocean is going crazy. There's a storm. And because of that, you cannot see anything. And if this is about the deep ocean, then the cloud will make no difference. If there's sun or not, it's going to be deep. That's deep. <laughs> Anyway, it's just a stupid, uh, you know, stupid book. Uh, and you know, like this guy, he could not understand the, the, the Trinity, right? Look, Allah, now he explained himself. Allah suddenly became a tree. This is beautiful, brother. The funny is, the Quran itself says, don't compare Allah to other things. And then the same Quran, compare, Allah compared himself to a tree, compare himself to a niche, Compare himself to a light, to a candle, to a scandal. Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth. Is light like in the lamp in the niche and the lamp in a glass shade. The glass shade like a glittering star and the lamp light with olive oil of a blessed tree. Okay, how that will make Allah? Any Muslim can explain? This guy, he said he could not understand the Trinity. Explain to me now. Do Allah, he light from olive oil? And why he, what he is doing in the tree? Is Allah light? Is it from a burning oil? Is he the sun, maybe? How that would make Allah for us? And the funny they say to you, you cannot compare Allah to anything.
anyway i hope we have enough for this guy uh, let him watch my video i uh, i don't know i don't want to really make him upset but sometime you have to uh, you know i pray that the lord to forgive him if his intention is just to get subscribers and if not then he should read carefully the quran is a stupid book have you ever heard of a book speaking about how the baby is made and he claimed that the sperm become a dead, a dead blood is that really what god uh, you know the, if god cannot know what we learn in sixth grade does mean this god he need to go to sixth grade school if this is god look at this verse here bad women they bury they marry bad men allah he's speaking saying he made fate that all the fate is like this if you are a bad woman you will marry a bad woman if you are a good man you will marry a good woman so why muhammad wives were bad I mean, you see stupidity. Muhammad, the Quran accused the wives of Muhammad, Hafsa and Aisha, to be kuffar. Their heart became uh, declining to Allah and to faith. And Allah, he threatened them, if you don't repent, Allah will marry him, real Muslim women. Based on this, any man, he have a bad wife, he must be bad. Is that a logic? Is that true? Remember, they believe in destiny. If you go a different place, For the Muslims, Adam and Lut, they are prophets. Chapter 66, verse number 10, it says the wives of Lut and Adam, they betray their husband. But you just said in the other verse that bad women, they marry bad men, and bad men, they marry bad women, and good men, they marry good women. And this is a fate of Allah. Can I ask you now or later? We are done. But well, I'm not done yet, obviously. So, my friends, a God who does not know how the baby is made cannot be God, regardless if he is one or ten or five. I don't care. Let us say Allah is seven gods. That is not the reason for me to believe or not to believe. This God is an idiot, stupid, and fool. He destroy you if you don't commit sin. He reward you if you commit sin. If you believe in him, he will give you a lot of slaves, six slaves, eighty thousand little boys to be servants, thousands of women. The lowest reward is seventy-two women. The lowest. A God who promised me endless penis can't be God. That is a pimp. That is a guy selling sex toys. A God who do not know how the baby is made. Well, he is not the one, obviously, who made the baby. The one who made the baby, he should know very well how the baby is made. This is a chapter 23, verse number 14. Have you ever heard of a scientist says that the semen, the sperm, become a congealed blood? Which means dead blood. Should I get the critical Quran? My friend, why are you asking me? I do not know the book. Well, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the book is about. Get it. I don't know. You don't get it. You get it. You don't get it. What, what difference is going to make? Not for me. Maybe for you. People ask me questions. I don't know why. I don't read books of others about Islam. I don't study any book in English written about Islam because they will not teach me nothing. I'm the last one to buy a book. The last one who will buy a book or read a book written about Islam by people of today. I, I might read a book about Islam written four centuries ago, 10 centuries ago. 
but not from someone who just, you know, give me a break. Uh, so I hope that this guy, he will see the truth and the truth will set him free. The God of the Quran is a Satan. He is really Antichrist. Isn't it the Bible says who is the Antichrist is the one who denied the Father and the Son? So yes, he is Antichrist. And to prove that, actually, if Muhammad is not Antichrist, why he want to kill the Christians? Let us say that Muhammad is not Antichrist. So what is the purpose of making a chapter saying, I the Christians, until they believe in me, either they pay or die. If Muhammad is a decent man, and this is for the sake of argument, and he care for his religion and his God, he shall not accept us to pay to live because we are worshiping the wrong God. Aren't you fighting us in order to make us believe? No, he is fighting us because he wants the money. If you go and read the Quran, you will see that after he made an order to forbid non-Muslims to get close to the mosque or Mecca or Medina, and those are the ones who do business, the Christian, the Jews, they are the businessmen. The towns are dying. So he said to them, if you fear poverty, if you fear poverty, I have to read here, let us go on to the verse. And if you fear poverty, soon Allah will reach you. How soon? Go attack the Christians and the Jews and take their money and take their women. Do you see it? Fight those who don't believe in Allah, nor the last day, nor forbidden what is forbidden by Allah and his messenger, nor acknowledge Islam, which means to convert to Islam. Who are they? The Christians and the Jews. Until they pay you money. That was the purpose of jihad. And this is why Muhammad, he says, attack the Roman so you can get the blonde girls. room. Attack the Roman so you might get the blonde girls. Are we lying? Huh? Let us attack the book so we can get the blonde girls. Who is lying here? This is Tafsir al Tabari, very number 14, page number 287. A man, he said to Muhammad after he mentioned that, please don't tempt me with women to go for war. Muhammad, he accused him to be hypocrite, coward, liar, satanic. Look what Muhammad said. Let us use Google translation. A man, he said to him, please, prophet, don't tempt me with women, the blondie women. You see, when you see the word yellow here in translation, this is about the blondie. Blondie women is what is they are talking about. So Muhammad, he said to them, attack the woman so you can get the blondie girls, the yellow girls, the daughter of the yellows. Don't you want to get the daughters of the yellow? This is Muhammad. Invade. Invade the Roman. Invade Tabuk and take the daughters of Asfar. Asfar here is the word blonde, uh, yellow, uh, which means blonde. Meaning the Roman women. Muhammad tempting his fighters to go and fight, to kill the Christians, to get the blondie women. This is Muhammad. So you are worried about Allah is one or two? The Buddha is one. He's not two Buddha. <laughs> There's many religion, they have one God, who care? And there's many religions, they have many of gods, who care?
people are really sick. And look, Muhammad, he accused the man to be hypocrite. Why? Because he don't want to go for war to get the blondie women. If you go and get the blondie women, you are a good person. You are a good Muslim. Attack the Roman, my friend, and get the blonde girls. That explain when you see the the those uh, Mimi Hijab and those people making videos about this guy that who became an atheist, the Muslim. I forgot his name. About his wife, the white wife. They are obsessed with her that she is white. They see only skin. This is a white supremacist cult. This is why Muhammad, he promised them. Because the Arab are obsessed with white women. He promised them, women, you will see the marrow of their bones. The marrow of their bones. Why? Because he knew how much obsessed with white color. And this is for them the maximum beauty. When a person is so white, you can see the, 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 the blood veins in, in, under his skin or her skin. So Muhammad, he promised them, this is why nobody will enter heaven unless he is white. This is why in the Quran it says, the day Allah will make faces black and faces white. And how that will happen? You go to chapter 27, verse number 82. Go and read Ibn Kathir. Allah, he will send an a beast, is called a Jassasa. And that beast is going to carry the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. And is going to hit the disbeliever in his face and will make him black. And will hit the believer in his face and will make him shiny white, so white extremely wide this is why the boys in the heaven they are like pearls the women in the heaven they are like pearls as the quran described them and then the beast who come from the earth is going to punish everyone who don't believe in muhammad and supposedly this is a punishment read with me carefully i'm not saying anything this is not my pocket this is quran and this is the interpretation of the muslims and this is ibn kathir the scumbag the one who hate the christians to death so this beast will come, and he described the beast for you. And here it says that he will emerge from the earth, and he will have the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. And then he will hit the, 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 the nose of the disbelievers with the staff of Moses. And uh, uh, it will make uh, the face of the believer bright with the ring. So the staff of Moses, according to here, will make you black if we hit you with the staff. If he used the ring of Solomon, the magical ring, he will make you white. And then he continued down. How white, how black we will be. Read carefully. It says here, there will be, after he hit you, there will be no believer left without making a white spot in his face, which will spread until his face shining white as a result. And there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face, which will spread until his face is black as a result. Bobby, are you convinced now with the one God? Brother, are you excited? Allah will make you white, very white. MashaAllah, brother. You will be very white, brother. <laughs> what people do just to get some view? You see, we don't have a view because simply we are saying the truth. And because simply many Christians don't really care. They just come here to laugh. Actually, if I know, if I stop this chat, maybe I will lose maybe 80% of the viewers. Many they are just coming to chat. They are fake Christians. They are not true Christians. I know. But then sometimes 
get disappointed of people don't doing their job to save them, not to save me. I'm the last one to be deceived by this garbage. Your children's, your kids, look how much deception there is in YouTube, even made by so-called Christians. Your priest is inviting Muslim to teach Islam in the church. You are surrounded by deception. I'm doing my part, and Christians are just doing nothing. So don't be surprised if one day your son, like this guy, he says the Quran is amazing. If he mean it, I don't know. Don't be surprised if you think never happened to you. Maybe his family, they never thought that it's going to happen to their son. He did not convert to Islam, by the way. But maybe he should. Because it makes sense to him. People are hypocrite. People, they do anything for the sake of fame, money, business. But the truth always will be revealed. I will make more short videos using my phone. Some of you complain about the audio is not good. So I order a phone, I order a, a microphone to fix that issue. So I will not go really too much life because as you see, you guys are not doing a good job. And you know, don't tell me, don't tell me it is YouTube. David Wood is not, YouTube is not in his side either. But he gets 30, 40,000 view. So there is something not right. Either you are racist like them, you like, you know, blonde people with uh, blue eyes, so you don't share my videos because I'm not showing my face, or there's something wrong. It doesn't make sense. I stay with you for two, three hours. I burn my blood, shouting, screaming, debating Muslims. And we make tens of thousands of Muslims leave Islam. And then at the end of the day, we have very low view. If YouTube is making the view law for everybody, all the Christians, well, it should be law for everybody, not only me. You are not doing your part. You are either lazy, or you are a coward, or you are a potato couch. Which one is you? Or you are just here to laugh. I cannot keep my videos on my channel. And Christians don't really care. Actually, I made a video about UFO. Go and see how many comment in the UFO video in less than a half day. And see the comment in the previous video, which made a few days ago. You will see how huge the number of the UFO video comment and how small the number of the video speaking about what is the Holy Spirit in Islam. Which one is more important? So you get so excited because it is UFO? Do you see how much painful it is to see how Christians they act? So you right now, you make a comment about something reading, I mean, UFO, who care? But we are talking about the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit in Islam? And then nobody have time to make a comment. Why? What is the problem exactly? They are cheap. They don't make comment. They are cheap. They don't share. And we want them to donate. Don't donate, please. At least make a comment. Donate a comment for us. And then people, they say to me, well, oh, you, you should not be disappointed. I have to be disappointed. I mean, isn't it a shame? I do my best, and then the rest just watching.
You don't know what to do with people. If I look now at the videos, look at this. <clears throat> the video about the Holy Spirit have 278 comments. Nine thousand six hundred thirty-five view. Why? I mean, do you know how important this video is? 278. We go to the UFO video, which has just made. <laughs> 342. <laughs> UFO. UFO. Well, I guess UFO is more important. Uh, you are my priest. I am not a priest, my friend. Don't don't say that. Don't describe somebody in something he don't deserve or he is not. And you do not need a priest. We have we have a Christ and we follow Christ. Priest is just to serve. And priests these days are not even teachers. You know, priests are just people doing rituals. Even you, you know, you go to them. They are the same as Muslims. You know. Even they charge you for a funeral. I mean, you have a son is is dead, and he will ask you, you are going to pay me now? So priests today are people doing business, the same as Muhammad. There's very few of them, they are true people, but those are really you. The rest is just doing business. And you do not need a priest, and you do not need me to be a priest, and I'm not a priest. We need only, my friend, only Christ. There's only one master to follow. There's only one Lord. And the rest is UFO. The Lord himself, he is not going to identify them. They are UFO. He will say to them, depart from me, I do not know you. They will say, Lord, we made miracles in your names. He will say, I do not know you. My friend, we blame you too for everything, right? But there is many Christians, they speak against Islam too. So if they are lowering the view, you know, uh, just just think about it. When when uh, when there is something, uh, people they like pictures. You know, if I change the, the the picture in my video, the view will be higher. But why someone like me need to make a picture? Should I open my mouth and say reaction to the Quran? If people are sharing and doing their part of my videos, then people will not have a hard time to find where the Christian prince is. And people don't listen. People don't even see. They are blind. I mean, look, it says patreon.com slash Christian prince. Still, they ask me where we can find you. Every single video in the internet have the link patreon.com slash Christian prince. Where we can find you. You change your channel. Go there. Click at the. It's for free. You don't make a donation. They are afraid, they are afraid, you know, they are afraid if they go, they have to pay. You know, because they are fake. It's like somebody, he go to the church and he leave before, before the tray for donation come. We are not asking you to do anything. We want to find where I'm going to go. It's open for everybody. Patreon is for everybody, for the one who donate, the one who don't donate. I don't make my video private. Everybody knows that. Uh, let us see how many of you will download and how many of you will share and how many of you will try to save their kids from deception because as you see, Islam, Islam is a satanic cult and is going to use everybody. Satan will use everybody, even those who claim to be Christians. Just yesterday, we made a video about the one who made the book, it's called The Fate of Abraham, right? 
And then I found that this is the same guy who made an interview with Shawadri, and Shawadri said to him, only Muslims are innocent. And the, the whole book is about that, the, you know, the West get it wrong about Islam. Islam is wonderful religion. The Muslims, they don't want to take over. But isn't it Muhammad who says, I've been ordered, I've been commanded to kill all mankind until they practice Islam. And even the Muslims who don't practice Islam, I will kill him. This is the agenda of Muhammad. Is Muhammad is a Muslim or not? Is Muhammad a Muslim or not? They say to you, ISIS is not Islam. Like this coward, he made a book says, the war on the Muslims in Al-Bosnia. But the war in the, in the Al-Bosnia wasn't against Muslims only. There was Croatian. There's Al-Bosnian Christians. You see how they lie? And the one who supported the Muslim in the war is the NATO. So if this is a war between a Christian and Muslim and war in the Muslims, then why the NATO is taking their side? So he's speaking about the West. The West get it wrong, but the West is the one who support the Muslims. The West is the one taking our videos down. The West who is taking my, my, my account down in Facebook, in Twitter. I open an account in, in Instagram, I cannot post. I open in TikTok, they say to me, violation of uh, a guideline. This is, even China is taking the side of the Muslims. So your enemy is within you. Your priest is supporting Islam. Your bishops are lying to you. They keep saying to you, Islam is Abrahamic faith. When the Muslim, they just admitted that Muhammad have nothing to do with Abraham. You are surrounded by the devil. Your president, he says to you, Islam mean peace, starting from George Bush to Obama, to Joe Biden, all the liars, to the Prime Minister of UK, to the President of France. I mean, if Islam is peace, so what do we have in here now? And what this guy Muhammad saying? Everybody is lying to you. And this is the, this is the key of success in these days. If you want to be successful, if you want your book to be number one in publishing and sales, make a book about how good, how good Muhammad is. This is the truth. TikTok run by USA now? That's a good one. Anyway, uh, I do my part, and I don't regret doing my part. But there's many they will regret. Time will come, and the Lord will say to you, you spend your life, how old are you now? You die at the age of 80? Oh, okay. How many people you did uh, brought them to me? Do you know the last uh, Bible study we did about the three servants who they've been given the talent? That will happen to us. The Lord is not joking. That will happen to us. There's many of you will come back and their hands is empty. They were busy buying cars going vacations, working so hard to make money, their bank account is full of money. And then you die. Your wife, she will take the money. She will get a brand new husband from the from eBay. Or the same as your, you know, your, your, the wife, she die, he inherit her. He buy, he get a brand, brand new wife, a young girl from uh, somewhere. Uh, you know, you, you just collect money. Just collect as much as you can. They will take even your watch from your hand. They will not leave it to go with you to the grave. And your car will be taken from you. And your fancy house will be a party house a week after your death. Just collect money. Just live. And then you will die. The wage of sin is death. And that's why people don't dare to talk about it. Party time, party. If you say party, how many people will come? Party. 
the world of parties. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord have mercy in the souls of those who are lost. We do our part to say the truth, and the truth will set you free. I hope you guys will download the video as soon as possible. And you can cut it pieces if you want. You do not need to make it one video when you repost it. And uh, please inform people if you like to find where I'm going to go live. Not to make a donation, go to Patreon slash Christian Prince. Type the link there and you will find where my video will be live again. Or at least what is the active channel I am in. Just to make it simple. Well, I think we had enough for today. I pray to the Lord you will have a great uh, Sabbath. And uh, don't do fishing on Saturday because Allah he will make you a pig if you do so. But if you rape children in Saturday, Allah will give you, give you a reward. Only fishing on Saturday is a problem to Allah. And Bobby is, you know, he, he Islam makes sense to him. A God who, who curse people, who make them pig and monkeys for fishing in Saturday. But this God, he don't make the rapist pigs. The child molesters or child rapist pigs. I mean, which one is bigger crime? Makes sense. It makes sense, brother. Makes sense. A guy, he go fishing in Saturday. We make him a pig. A person, he rape women or children. He's okay. Allah will not curse him, brother. When I say stupidity is amazing, it is. And a human being is really a collection of foolishness. Oh, what you need, some Islamic fertilizer, and the collection will be all over. Thank you. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him, 